Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are moving to chapter 4 now which is deployment risk and contingencies. Here we'll be having three different topics again to be covered but of course with a lot of subtopics. So as a part of the very first tutorial of this chapter we are covering 4.1 that is selection of test automation approach and planning of deployment rollout and the subtopic as 4.1.1 pilot projects. So let's get started with the same. In the very first point we really have to recall some of the basic concepts from the foundation level certification that in the last chapter we understood about the test automation approach. It requires of course understanding of the basic criteria to be met by the organization before they can really adopt a solution for the automation or select a tool for the organization. At the same time, deployment involves a lot of POCs to be conducted on different tools before we can actually go ahead with the pilot project. So, putting it all together when you talk about the test automation approach and deployment, it basically includes evaluating the uh, ability of the organization to adopt at automation or select a tool for the organization and on the other side we also understand if we have a provision to conduct a pilot. So if you see here we basically divide them into four different stages that is how the pilot can be conducted. One is identify a suitable project on which you will be applying the pilot, plan the pilot, conduct the pilot and evaluate the pilot. It's really very important and crucial to make sure that your statistics will be collected in a very good manner so that the pilot outcomes can be very well decided and understood by the end of the team at the end of the executions. For deployment, at least uh, the following steps should be considered. We talk about identifying initial target projects, deploy the tasks in the selected project, monitor and evaluate the tasks in projects after a predefined period and roll out to the rest of the organization. So this is like post pilot execution. If your pilot gives you a positive outcome, then the rest of the organization would be looking for the deployment to the other projects as well. So that we will talk about later, but now in this particular tutorial, we are just getting started with the pilot project. Of course, the pilot project objectives have been discussed uh, in foundation. Again, we talk about like basically to learn more about the tool, uh, see how the tool fits into the organization, design automation interfaces to match the need of the tester, decide on standard ways like protocols of using a tool just like guidelines how you define for any other product. Similarly, you define for the automation tool and solution as well. Identify matrix and measurements which you will be using to uh, gather the information during the pilot of the tool because that's more important for you as an objective for conducting the pilot and assess whether the benefits will be achieved at the reasonable cost because that's more important if it is going to have more recurring cost than the initial cost then obviously it will invite a lot of additional cost at the time of uh, executions and determine what skills will be required to be updated by the testing team to make best use of the tool or efficient use of the solution by the organization. Further, in continuation to understand the pilot project, we are actually trying to elaborate each stage for you here that how exactly the four stages of pilot project is being organized within an organization. The very first thing is of course to identify a suitable project. This is very important and very crucial to make a good decision that which project are you going to use to be piloting the automation solution which you have selected for. So of course at some point of time you have to have certain guidelines for the organization to not put the entire organization into trouble. So you always go with certain strict guidelines here. For example, do not select a critical project because critical project may let you down at some point of time so you do not want to play around with that. It's really important for the organization and the prestige of the people. Do not select a trivial project as well on the other side. Involve the necessary stakeholders in the selection process. You think that if this team, test managers or other organization factors, other stakeholders are required to be present during that, make sure that they are involved. The SUT of the pilot project should be a good reference for the other project of the organization. Now that doesn't mean that if you have to take a very simple project for the pilot, that means it is completely different from what you generally do. So it must be relevant or related to all other types of applications which you generally produce or create within your organization. So it, it must be something so the pilot project outcomes are useful and beneficial to you. 
Once you're done with identifying these pr protocols and criteria, plan the pilot. It's just, just as usual as like how you do other planning for the project, like pilot, uh, pilot is also requiring that how your resources will be available for this project and make sure that you're aligning your efforts in terms of having a good audience in terms of, in terms of like uh, you may have a different crowd of people, different resources with different mentality or different understanding on the automation because maybe the rest of the organization doesn't know about automation at all. So it doesn't mean that only automation experts are invited for this pilot project. And at the same time, you also need to make sure that the team is available during the pilot project. They might be having multiple commitments on different projects, but especially for the pilot project, they must be available, otherwise the pilot will not be successful. So as we continue, the step three is the conduct the pilot, of course, that is execution. Execution, that means while you're working with the project, while you're working with the executions, make sure that you are monitoring, you're gathering, you're making sure that does it really meet the expectations or not? Does this tool fulfill the activities which we are planning to do using the tool? So it's, it's basically to capture the information from the real use of the tool during the project execution, which you call just executing the pilot. And of course, at the end, evaluate the pilot that is use all stakeholders for the evaluation. That means gather information from all the teams to make sure that how exactly it helped you to capture the information. So I think that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial of the same chapter. So stay tuned for that. Should you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address you and answer your queries. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.